Now why he kicking her? Why does he mean that lady like that? Why is he playing? What the f*** is up her? No. Why does he mean that lady like that? Why is he playing? 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 Now you gonna kill her right on the- This is what policing in America looks like. Round. The Charlotte Mecklenburg police have a lot to answer for after this troubling piece of video surfaced showing their policeman beating the heck out of a Bojangles employee. CMPD Chief Johnny Jennings, seen right here on y'all's screen, spoke with local media. Quote, I had the opportunity to view this video, and it is not easy to watch. I never want to see an officer, much less one of my own, involved in a situation like this. He'd add, to everyone and to our community, I get it. I understand the outrage. I understand the emotions that come when you look at a video that involves an officer who's punching a female who were trying to make the arrest and subdue. I understand that. In his presser, he'd also say that when officers approached a man and a woman who were smoking the ganj at a bus stop and began arresting the man, the woman interfered. An officer tried to stop him, and a struggle ensued. The cops claimed the woman hit an officer multiple times, and during the struggle, an officer who responded as backup struck the woman several times to get her to allow police to take her into custody, which they say is good because that's what the training allows. Come on, just hit her a little bit. We'll allow it. CMPD would tell the public, after several repeated verbal commands, an officer struck the female subject seven times with knee strikes, ten closed fist strikes to the peroneal nerve in the thigh to try to gain compliance. The officer was intentional about where the strikes were made. Ah, yes, of course, because beating someone is great with selective punishment. Kareen Mack of the Charlotte Mecklenburg County branch of the NAACP said, there are marks on her face, and I want to know how those marks got there. Who struck her, and how many times she was struck? Asked about injuries to Ms. Pierre's face, Chief Jennings said, I asked my staff to look at the video so we can try to determine where those injuries may have come from. He said he believed they had been sustained in an initial struggle with a single officer. That officer's body cam was knocked off during the struggle, he said. I honestly believe that is how they made them. For any sort of commotion, they just fall off. The department's Internal Affairs Bureau is investigating, Jennings would say, who speculated that other agencies might eventually conduct their own probes. The officer identified as Vincent Pistone has been reassigned temporarily from the patrol division to investigations, Jennings said. A department spokesperson said the department does not release info about officers' races.